guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got another huge diecast haul. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna start out with three diecasts I got from Rave 6. So let's just get right into it. First one I got was Daniel Suarez's iFly um, car from 2021. I really like this paint scheme and I was really glad to find this car as it is an Authentics exclusive. You cannot get it in the Gold Series. Um, they canceled it for the Gold Series release, which is pretty sad because I do really like this paint scheme. Um, it looks like the front is messed up there, but it's just a plastic. If you, I don't know if you can see plastic. There's just, I, I maybe got a little bit hot, but it's not with the um, messed up there. You can kind of see it's fine. But um, so that was the first one I got from Wave Six, and then I got Kurt Busch's. Um, Wave 6 gear wrench car. Um, this is pretty similar to the car he that he had from last year. Um, I'll grab that real quick. We could just do a really, really quick comparison. Um, just the only difference is, is basically the top um, is orange on the new one, and the orange is a little bit darker. But as you can see, it's the same basic design um, other than that. So it's pretty nice. The 2020 gear wrench car is also pretty rare um to my understanding so um yeah um, that's that one and then i got the austin hill united rentals truck um i really love this paint scheme it just looks so clean and nice um so i do really like this paint scheme and those are the only three i got from wave six that i was able to find but i went to target um on sunday and I did not have anything. They only had a few cars from Wave 4. But I went back to Target today, that same Target, and they had restocked. And they had gotten in, um, let's move the camera. They got in a whole case of Wave 7, and I was able to get every single car from Wave 7. So we are going to start off with um, Justin Allgaier. Um, this is the um, white paint scheme. I really like the white one. Um, I don't know if his normal paint scheme or the white one is my favorite. I'm not completely sure, but I do really like this paint scheme. Um, it's really clean, and um, I'm pretty sure he ran this at a night race, and it looked really great when I saw it on TV. So um, that's the first one. Um, and I'll show all of these together at the end. Um, next up, the next one I'm going to pull out of the bag is going to be Kyle Busch's Stanley Tools car that he ran in, um, I don't know which race he ran this in, um, I think he ran it, I don't know, maybe Bristol, I think, I'm not sure, this is a Stanley Tools car, I have this one in the gold series, so this is not a one I need to get a double of, but, um, if we take a look at the back here, um, we can take, I'll be getting a double of the Matt Benedetto, the Justin Allgaier, the Denny Hamlin, and the Eric Jones, because I don't have those ones out of the package. And I don't have Kyle Larson out of the package either. The reason I'm not going to get a double of that if I find another one. Well, I'll still buy it if I find another one, because they're going for a lot of money on eBay. But um, I have pre-ordered that in the Gold Series, so I'm still my Gold Series one is still coming. And um, if you're wondering why the ZNC Cup Series um, All-Star Race and the finale have not come out yet, it's because I am waiting on that 2021 Alex Bowman diecast to come in from pre-order. Next up, we have Matt DiBenedetto's Dutch Boy um, Ford Mustang. Um, neon green looks great, as always. I, I don't I think this is my first ever Dutch Boy diecast. Because I think, yeah, my other Menards one is um, a Jack Lynx, Moen, and the other one is Maytag. So this is my first Dutch Boy um, diecast, and it looks really nice. Um, I do like it. Um, I wish they would change up the Menards paint schemes once in a while, but, you know, other than that little gripe I have, I really do like this paint scheme. So, okay, let's see um, which, which the next one I'm going to pull out. Uh, we got Christopher Bell's Craftsman Tools um, Toyota Camry. Um, Craftsman Tools, Ream, Interstate Batteries, PristineAuction.com. Um... This is a really nice paint scheme. I really do like this paint scheme. I also have this one in the gold series, which means that I will not have to get a double of this car, which is great. Um, and some of you might think I'm weird for getting doubles, but I do like to keep all the waves in the package. And I've been doing that since the first wave of 2021, where I have not 
Um, I've only opened three 2021 cars. I think I've only opened four 2021 cars. And it was all they were all doubles. And so um, I think that's pretty good. And then we got one of the most beautiful paint schemes that was ever on track this year. Eric Jones Armor All Car that he ran in a Daytona 500. Beautiful car. Um, it does have a little stain on the hood, but if um, your car does have that and you open it, it's got a stain on the hood and it won't come off when you're trying to rub it, get a little bit of rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and kind of just rub it off and it won't rub off the decals. I've done this plenty of times. It works perfectly great and takes all the like blemishes that are on the diecast from Lino right off. Okay, so that was Eric Jones's Armor All car. Next up, we're going to take a look at probably one of my favorite ones from the Wave. It's going to be Kyle Larson's HendrickCars.com Chevrolet Camaro. This paint scheme, obviously, Kyle Larson um, has wheeled this thing to many, many victories this season. Um, obviously, it was announced that HendrickCars.com will be back with Kyle Larson next season. So that is really cool, and this paint scheme is really cool, so I really enjoy this car. Next up, we're going to take a look at Denny Hamlin's 2021 Offer Pad Toyota Camry. Now, obviously, this is not the one he um, ran in the Daytona 500, because the Daytona 500 one had his face right on the hood. And um, I do, I did really like that. It was um, kind of funny to him, see him have his face on the hood of a car. Uh, it was really funny, and I liked it. So, um, also on the back, we got a white spoiler, which I think, I mean, it kind of looks like a orangish white because of the color under it. But I like the white spoiler. I think if it was a black spoiler, it wouldn't look right. So I liked that they added the white spoiler. Um, and then let's see. The last car we're going to take a look at is going to be Chase Elliott's Hooters Chevrolet Camaro. Obviously, this was one of the rarest cars from 2020, and um, he ran this car in 2020, and um, they produced it in the Gold Series, and it um, quickly became one of the rarest Chase Elliott cars that ever existed, aside from his rookie car and his first win car. Those the two ones that were more rare. You could still buy it for like $20 on eBay, but um, I have one in the Gold Series for the 2021, and now I have this one in the Authentics line. So that's all that I um, have for you guys today. Um, that was a pretty big haul, and um, um, I'll show you kind of just, um, I'll bring in a problem. I'll show you my favorite one. Like I said, it's, it's either got to be um, Kyle Larson, not standing upright. It's either got to be Kyle Larson or Eric Jones for the my for my the favorite award. Um, it's either got to be one of those two. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these two cars you like the best. But with that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.